Yo, welcome to another video. I am your Tactical Power Pro. If it's your first time checking my channel, welcome. I am an Air Force veteran, a former electrical power production technician, which is a fancy way of calling a general mechanic in the Air Force. So please go ahead and overcrank that like button and subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. So let's waste no more time and let's go straight to today's video. Here we have, believe it or not, another Predator 3500 inverter. This one, the owner says that it fried two refrigerators. So we gotta figure out what's going on with this generator that keeps destroying equipment. So apparently this generator sometimes has zero voltage, sometimes has just regular 120 volts, and sometimes it has high voltage. So I'm about to start it and see what we find. So the generator starts and it's producing 126 volts according to the, the screen. But you can hear that the generator is running really bad. The carburetor needs some cleaning, most definitely. So we want to get the generator running right to make sure that the output voltage is correct as well. Let's go ahead and take the side cover out so we can take a peek at the carburetor. Okay, let's see. Oh no, I see some some animal hair down here. That is not a good sign. It's a rat or some sort of animal had a nest in this unit. So that this makes me think that it might have messed up with the inverter module. So let's take a peek, see if we can see the conditions of that inverter module. Oh. Yeah, I think this is a bad one. Let's remove the front cover so we can take a better look at the inverter module. Now let's take a better look at the inverter module. And the first thing you see is that fried resistor. Look at that, that's really burned out. You can see it's, it's in pretty rough conditions. This is why sometimes it's just working normal you get those sudden high voltage peaks that fry the refrigerators. Now you might be asking yourself, how does this happen to an inverter module? And the answers are pretty simple. You either overloaded your generator with way more load than what your generator can handle, or you have a rodent problem. You have critters inside your generator chewing through all your cables and your inverter model. But now that we found the issue, Let's order a new inverter module. One week later. The inverter module has just arrived. Look how clean that looks. Let's go ahead and remove the old inverter module. One thing you will notice is that the old inverter module has four capacitors. The new and improved inverter module comes with three capacitors. Check my description box below if you're trying to buy one. Put in the new one, make sure you have the ground at it. Make sure you have the rubber. And then you want to make sure where each wire goes. Take them and take pictures of where it goes. But in this one, the old one has red, the old one has red and blue wires. This one came with red and white wires. So the white will go with blue is red on red. Then here, you got the wires, make sure you have the same way you had on the older one. My bad guys, I had some camera issues and I could not record the last steps, which were finishing installing the inverter module cleaning the carburetor and starting the generator. But 
I'm going to leave you guys with the last clip, which is the general running. I'm going to be testing for voltage and doing some load changes. That's it, y'all. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to overcrank that like button and subscribe to my channel. And always remember that knowledge is current times voltage.